So this is problem on source transformation. Here we have to find out the current passing through the 20 ohm resistor and this is the circuit given to us. Now we have to convert different sources into the respective changes such as current sources into voltage source as required. Let us first analyze this circuit. As we need to find out the current, we will first solve this circuit which is on the left side. Ultimately, if we approach with the current sources and only remaining registers, we will be able to find out the current. So first, we have a current source parallel to a resistor. We can easily convert this into voltage source. So to convert this into voltage source, we will multiply 5 to 5 ohm. We will get 25 volt voltage source in series with 5 ohm resistor. So this is what has been done over here. So this is what we have a 25 volt, uh, 25 volt battery in series with 5 ohm resistor. Next up we have 5 ohm resistor and 10 ohm resistor in series and also we have a 5 volt battery which is driving in the same direction as the 25 volt battery. So we have to combine the batteries and resistors in this particular area. If we add 25 and 5, of course we are going to add because they are driving in the same direction, we get 30 volts and when we combine the series resistances 10 ohm and 5 ohm, we get 15 ohm. So this is how we have reduced this much of part of the circuit. So we have 30 volts and 15 ohm. Now we have the 10 ohm resistor parallel with 5 ampere current. But we are not going to converting this into voltage source, which will unnecessarily complicate the circuit. So instead, what we will do is we will convert this combination again into a current source. So to convert this into current source, we will divide 30 volt by 15 ohm, which gives 2 ampere current source. And to parallel to it, we have 15 ohm resistor and 10 ohm resistor and the next circuit is continued according to the circuit further is continued. Now the parallel combination of 15 ohm and 10 ohm gives us 6 ohms and we have a current source of 2 amperes and 5 amperes. Let us combine them. So we have 2 ampere and 5 ampere currents and Ultimately, we have combined the parallel registers into a 6 ohm register and 20 ohm register. We need to find out this current. Combining 2 ampere and 5 ampere, we have 7 ampere current source, which is providing currents to 6 ohm register and 20 ohm register. Now, this 7 ampere current is going to split up between these two registers. Of course, current in 20 ohm resistance branch will be lesser than in current in 6 ohm branch because 20 ohm is larger. The current in 20 ohm branch is given by the current which is coming at a node I is equal to 7 into the value of opposite resistance 6 ohm and the addition of two resistances. This is nothing but current division rule. And if you solve this, you get 42 by 26, which is nothing but 1.615 amperes. So this is how you can get the answer by source transformers. I hope you have understood. I will meet you again whenever you call me. Thank you so much.